Windows Netbook Helper, and today I'm on Windows XP Tutorials, I'm going to be showing you a few cool tricks. First trick is to how to create a shutdown shortcut and how to make your shutdown process a lot faster. So first what you're going to have to do is right click the screen, hit new, go over to new shortcut. What you're going to have to type in is a weird code. Gonna have to first type in the word shut down. And then with spaces, type in these weird things right here. So click next and then finish. Now it doesn't look like a shut down thing, so what we're gonna do is change the icon. So right click it, go to properties and then click on change icon that comes up just say okay so you're gonna hit that power button and click okay and then apply and now you have that desktop shortcut so now I'm gonna show you how you can speed up your shutdown so go ahead and click run and then you're gonna type in something called regdit it's something for controlling what happens in your PC and stuff so first you're gonna have these four options what you're gonna click on is H key current user then you're gonna go down and hit control panel after that go down and hit desktop so once you're in there you're gonna scroll down until you find something called wait to kill app once you double click that by default it's going to be 2000 what you're going to do is put it to 1000 and that's going to speed it up so then hit ok you can exit of that and this is how fast it shuts down ok just give me a second so now I'm going over I double clicked on my shortcut I'm logging off saving my settings Now it's shutting down, and that's it. That's it. So, I'm just going to do it boot up just for the heck of it. It shouldn't really change, but I'm just going to do it. Okay, so that's my boot up. Second trick that I'm going to show you is how to make an invisible folder. So what you're first going to do is right click the screen. Then you're going to go into new folder. And here's what you're going to do. When you're naming it, you're going to hold down the alt button. And then what you're going to do is type in 0160 while you're holding the alt button behind the spacebar or beside it so now that you have your thing there's no really name to it so what we're gonna do is go to properties and then change the icon so now you're gonna scroll over until you find an empty looking icon And there it is. So just hit OK and then apply. And you have an empty folder. So that's in case you want to hide stuff in that maybe you don't want people knowing about, which I really don't recommend, but whatever. You can open it from there, or you can delete it. I'm just going to delete it. Okay, so my third trick is how to find a cool song on Windows. So first go to my computer, then your local disk. Go over it and do the Windows folder. As that loads. Now you're gonna go over to something called System32. Then you're going to go in a folder called Oob. That's a weird name.
Then you're going to go into a folder called Images. So when you scroll down, you're going to see something called Title, and this is what it's going to sound like. So that's it for this video, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.